Well, today we have some new information about the shooting at the Four Seasons in Midtown that left both a SWAT officer and the suspect in the hospital. Police took the suspect, 70 year old Dr. Jay Berger, into custody after he fired more than 15 shots. We've learned he's a well known ophthalmologist who lives in a condo on the 33rd floor above the Four Seasons Hotel. Authorities say he was experiencing a psychotic episode at the time of that incident. 11 Alive's Angelina Salcedo listened to the 911 calls and even talked to a former officer about what it takes to secure a scene like this and de-escalate the situation. Gunfire from the 33rd floor. He is such a potential threat that high up. This man, Dr. Jay Berger, a danger to himself and everyone around him. I'm at the Four Seasons Hotel Atlanta, and we have a resident of ours that just pointed a gun at the association manager. A manager sent running to call for help at 1014 Tuesday morning. He's known for mental episodes, and we, I just need you here pronto. Police got to the building at 1110. At 1258, backup was requested for the 70-year-old who was having a psychotic episode. What kind of psychotic episode is this? What kind of mental health breakdown is it? Former law enforcement officer Mike Pugliese says it was clear there was no talking burger down. Officers could see him throwing furniture from the balcony. Oh my God. At 2.45, the 33rd floor was evacuated, but by 3.07, more shots were fired inside the apartment. By 3.33... The priority is outside the area. You can't predict his behavior at this point. While the area is secure, police and SWAT team are taking fire through the apartment walls at 3.38. Ten minutes later, Berger is seen on the balcony again. Officers finally arrest him at 4.39. Officers did everything tactically sound, and they tried to negotiate with the perpetrator, ultimately saving his life and, and taking him out in a way that didn't cause a fatality. The GBI says a sniper hit Berger before he surrendered. At last check, he is still at Grady getting medical care and is expected to be transported to the Fulton County Jail once he's discharged. If you want to listen to the full 911 calls, we're streaming them right now on 11 Alive Plus. It's free to download on your Roku, Amazon Fire or Apple TV device.